In the infinite reaches of the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope has made a discovery that will shatter our understanding of the cosmos. This latest discovery reveals a black hole that could destroy our universe. World-renowned astrophysicist Michio Kaku expressed his fascination with this discovery. For the first time, we see how the universe really began. A quote from Michio Kaku, Personally, I think we're actually looking at monstrous black holes where maybe new laws of physics are coming to light. And if you can figure it all out, there could be a Nobel Prize waiting for you. Michio Kaku is one of the first scientists to speak clearly about what James Webb really discovered at the edge of the temporal universe. Monstrous black holes. A photograph showing ancient galaxies, so old they shouldn't even exist, has rocked the world of astronomers and cosmologists. Now, in addition to this shock, it's revealed that at the center of at least one of these galaxies is an ultra-massive black hole. This discovery could destroy our picture of the universe forever. Therefore, it got the nickname Universe Breaker. Would you have believed that the images from the new telescope would break everything known so far? Physics stands before ever more insoluble seeming riddles ever since the publication of the first pictures. Researchers had hoped that the new space telescope would provide solutions or finally confirm old theories such as that of the Big Bang. First everything was still wonderful. NASA published a photo on which some stars and very many galaxies are to be seen. The more reddish and darker the galaxies become, the older they are. After the image was published, the hunt was on. Dozens of research teams around the world set out to analyze the image. State-of-the-art technologies extract incredible information from every point of light in the image. Using special computer technologies, researchers are figuring out how old the light is, what elements reflected the light, how fast this galaxy was moving, and how many stars were probably in it. The James Webb Space Telescope is a masterpiece of modern technology that, with images like this one, takes us back to a time just half a billion years after the Big Bang. Soon, researchers were able to announce the first discovery of ancient galaxies and that of a massive black hole with a mass 10 million times greater than that of our Sun. But how could such a massive object exist in an era when the universe was still in its infancy? A black hole of this size, so soon after the cosmic Big Bang, turns all previous knowledge of galaxy formation on its head. Imagine that according to the previous Big Bang theory, there should have been, actually, only first prototypes of stars and star collections at that time. But now, we are looking at six galaxies that were massive, bright, and full of stars, and at their centers, all of these galaxies may host supermassive black holes. Gravitational lensing reveals black holes. Black holes and distant objects are difficult to observe in the vastness of space. We may be missing out on many of the oldest galaxies and black holes because we can't see them, despite much better technology. Now, scientists are hoping for gravitational lensing. This effect should make even more ancient and even larger black holes visible and complete our picture of the early universe. Gravitational lensing was discovered by accident when scientists noticed strange distortions in images. Gravitational lensing is created by massive objects such as galaxies or black holes. Small and distant objects in the background of an image are magnified by the gravitational pull of upstream very heavy objects. This simple yet powerful cosmic coincidence has helped researchers tremendously in recent years to identify distant galaxies and exoplanets that would not have been visible otherwise. Researchers now hope to use the potential of this technique to look further and further back in time and finally unravel the mystery of the early universe. Black Holes and Extraterrestrial Intelligences Have these discoveries already surprised you? Then wait, because scientists have made two more discoveries related to black holes at the beginning of 2023 that are just shocking. The first discovery shows that something massive and unknown is being sucked into the black hole at the center of our galaxy. The second discovery is that advanced alien civilizations are using black holes as quantum computers. These two discoveries were made very close to each other and could possibly be related. Researchers discovered the mysterious object at the center of our galaxy shortly before a study of aliens and quantum computers was published. Could there be a connection here? When you think of aliens and quantum computers, 
Many of you probably think of some funny alien sitting in front of a black hole and surfing the net. But that's not quite how quantum computing is meant. But scientists have come to the conclusion that black holes would be ingenious quantum computers if you could get close to them without being disassembled into their component parts. The study went on to say that very advanced civilizations could well tap into black holes or use small black holes created in the laboratory as knowledge repositories and data processing machines. The capacity of such computers would be far beyond what we can imagine. Somehow, one and one came together, and for days, wild rumors circulated that the object that just appeared in the vicinity of the black hole in the center of the Milky Way was an alien spaceship in quantum computing. But this expectation was unfortunately soon disappointed. Probably, we would all have been happy about the first picture of a spaceship in the center of the galaxy, but a little later the strange object, with a short scientific name, X7, turned out to be a massive cloud of dust and gas. Astronomers have found that X7 is about 50 times as massive as the Earth, and in the spring of 2023, was already significantly stretched by its proximity to the black giant. The extent of the cloud has grown to 3,000 astronomical units, which is 3,000 times the distance between the Sun and us. Astronomers puzzled for quite a while about where X7 had come from. A cloud of this size is an unusual object. Most likely, X7 is the relic of a stellar mission and is now well on its way to being sucked in by the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. X7 will orbit around the black hole several more times in periods of 70 years. In 2036, the cloud will already be so close to the event horizon that there will be no escape. The huge cloud will finally end with a bang, and when it finally disappears in the center of the galaxy, the black hole will glow brightly for some time, making it visible. Unfortunately, we don't know whether aliens will then be present and use the forces for themselves. Some cosmologists believe that species capable of using black holes as energy sources or computers may be invisible. They may have transformed into pure energy, allowing them to approach black giants without being torn apart. Voracious Cosmic Monsters Ever since Albert Einstein predicted the existence of black holes in his theory of general relativity, the cosmic giants have captured the imagination of scientists. They are places of extreme gravity, where the laws of physics are altered in ways we do not yet fully understand. Their function in the cosmos is also still mysterious. The James Webb Space Telescope has not only discovered the oldest black hole, but also provided new information about the nature of these cosmic giants. It has shown that black holes were much more common and massive in the earliest epochs of the universe than we previously thought. Until now, researchers assumed black holes formed when massive stars collapsed and collapsed in on themselves at the end of their life cycle. The result is a point in space where gravitational forces become infinite. But the discoveries of the James Webb Telescope don't quite fit the picture here. The galaxies would be with it still far older and must have already existed before the Big Bang. Now, two possibilities remain. Our universe is really older than previously thought, or black holes are formed in a completely different way than we previously thought. The six galaxies discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope are an impressive testimony to the diversity and complexity of the universe. They also force us to rethink our knowledge of the black giants of the cosmos. Large parts of the universe look like a colorful cosmic dance, and the beauty is overwhelming. But then, monsters like black holes appear, or horror stars that eat others. These discoveries and many more often push our minds to the limits. Who would want to have a monstrous black hole in this neighborhood? devouring everything in its vicinity with its unimaginable gravity. If these black holes in the center of the galaxies were once dead stars, which grew to enormous size by sucking in matter or by merging with each other, they took millions or billions of years to grow to this size. Please consider that the discovered galaxies existed 13.6 billion years ago. The Big Bang is supposed to have happened 200 million years before that. You probably realize that the calculation doesn't work here anymore and we must completely revise our knowledge about black holes, star formation, and galaxy formation completely. The explanatory approaches are nothing more than pure conjecture so far. According to previous theories, the first stars in the universe were enormous, bright, and short-lived. After their explosion, 
they could have left behind equally enormous black holes, which then stimulated star formation in their vicinity, possibly forming turbo galaxies. The presence of supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies has profound implications for the development and evolution of those galaxies. Their enormous gravitational pull can draw stars and gas into the arms of the galaxy, creating new stars and growing the galaxy. At the same time, the energetic jets and winds ejected from the accretion disk around the black hole can heat up the surrounding gas and suppress star formation. Through their activities, black holes shape and form massive galaxies. Thus, they are not just terrifying and all-consuming, but represent an important structuring variable in the universe. One new theory proposes that dense regions in the early universe gave rise to multiple black holes, which then merged and quickly grew to massive sizes. Another model proposes that these black holes could have grown to sizes equivalent to millions of times that of our Sun due to the rapid consumption of gas and stars in their vicinity. There are also speculative ideas that propose that in the early moments after the Big Bang, conditions existed that allowed supermassive black holes to form directly without having to go through the stellar evolution process. Which of these is true? Time and ever-improving images of the universe will tell. Become a subscriber now to never miss another incredible video.